Oh no, not this movie again. Wait, you're, you're watching movies now? All right, I'm sorry if it's a bad one. I've traveled enough to know that most movies on airplanes and trains are absolutely awful. <laughs> going guys dre here and welcome back to another episode of tiny rails so we're back on the rails once again now i didn't actually know this is kind of like a very in-depth cookie clicker uh so it does play while you're offline as you can see we had 47 passengers served uh 350 bucks earned and four stations visited anyways we're back out looks like we're somewhere in usa more specifically we are currently in between columbus ohio in detroit and yeah you guys seem to like this game so much that uh we're back once again and I'm excited to get back into this because this is such an awesome little game so I'm kind of trying to remember where we were at right now what quest do we have going on right now uh, I just did a tailspin so there's a bunch of different secrets on the map I clicked a plane and it like spun around that was pretty cool but we did complete North America chapter 1 to 3 so we will collect that so now we're on 1-4 uh, make a stop at Columbus Ohio oh we just actually passed it well, that's a little bit of a an issue. See, that's the problem with it playing on its own. I, I need to go this way, so let's set the waypoint there, and uh, yeah, I guess we gotta turn around. All right, and now we made it to Detroit. Now, like I said, we need to go back to Columbus, unfortunately, which is quite a ways away, uh, but that's totally fine. Let's get back into it and uh, leave where we left off. Now, I really like this gumball machine. It's actually really fun. There's a few rare new cards here, so I feel like it'd be smart to do that right now. We got 619 gold, so let's roll a couple of them, uh, get some of these new upgraded carts, and see what they are. So this one isn't rare. It's the Pokeball one. Now we got the cafe car. Uh, this is going to obviously give our residents some food and some comfort. All right, so that one's pretty cool. I'm hoping for one of these rares, though. Let's try a couple more times here. Come on, give me a golden ball. I want the golden one. That is not a golden one, but that's okay. Everything's just fine because we got the veggie car as well. We're going to have some very full and happy passengers. All right, we'll do one more right now, and then we'll see what kind of upgrades we can get as well. Come on, just yes! Finally, we got one good one. So I kind of want this because I don't know what it is. I got the other one. That's okay. And we got a candy passenger car. Plus two passengers when using gingerbread engine and caboose. Okay, so we don't have that just yet. I believe that's the tier three one. I'm assuming that's what we get at the end here. But we do have the candy passenger car. All right, so let's set up our train here. It's nighttime, so it's kind of hard to see what I got going on, but I would like to change my train a little bit. So we got the new diesel engine as well as diesel caboose now. That's something that we got upgraded uh, from the last episode, so we can use these better cars now. Now, I don't know if it really matters if we use these cars or not, but I do want to reset this. So we're going to go back to just the basic train. And let's go through here and see what the best options are. So the Old West food car, don't get me wrong, that's good. Uh, actually, it's a little bit better than the veggie car in terms of comfort and uh, food, which is interesting to me. Uh, how's the cafe car? So six and two, that's definitely better food, so we're going to put that one on there. Uh, do we want to do the fruit car even as well? Well, I wouldn't mind a passenger car, obviously. That is really heavy, though, so that's going to give me six passengers. This candy passenger car is going to give me four uh, and it also has food and comfort, so you know what? We gotta try that thing out. I think that's gonna be really good. Uh, is there any more that we can have? What's our weight currently at? So we still have actually a lot of weight here. I think there's a limitation to how many cars you can have on it, though. So we're currently at 15 passengers. You know what? I want to boost my passengers a little bit more. This one, you get plus two passengers when using yellow diesel engine. I believe, yeah, mine's blue. So I guess there's different colored ones as well. Regardless, we'll use it anyways. Looks like your train is full unequipped cars for you to equip others. Actually, I'm totally fine with that. So we got a decent sized train now. So we currently have a grand total of two passengers and five cargo. Uh, we're going to depart for our quest location, which is in Columbus, Ohio. And now we have 12 passengers. That's actually pretty full car. I'm still not getting great reviews, but as you can see, uh, my stats are pretty good, I'm assuming, for the start here. Uh, I have a bonus of 39%, whatever that means. Oh, gotta grab my money. Don't want to forget that. That was 350 bucks right there. And you gotta make sure you grab the money out of your carts, too. So the cafe car, we definitely want that money. And yeah, onward to Columbus, Ohio. 
All right, this cafe is making good money. I love how the uh, actual stores are open at a certain time as well. So it just started the day. Uh, so we're going to get lots of money here. As you can see, it slowly goes up. So it, this really is a very in-depth cookie clicker. Like, you almost wouldn't be able to tell that until you play it a little bit. Uh, but the big thing is it's beautiful and very well done. So... Uh, that is a very good thing. Now, actually, let's look at our service, guys. See what kind of services we have. Uh, prevents obstacle encounters. Lowers market refresh by 50%. You know what? I'm going to turn that on. Ready to do some cargo shopping. Let's find some deals. Because I would like to find some deals. So we're going to turn that on. 20 gold for every hour. That's literally nothing. So we may as well do that. Oh, full money already, as you can see. So got to make sure we grab that. Now, I believe someone said in the comments if we click... The sun as well. Yes, another secret. Third rock from the sun. So there's a lot of cool secrets in this game. Uh, yeah, we basically made the sun go away. Can we do it multiple times? Yes, we can. Now that gets kind of annoying, so we're going to stop doing that. But uh, it's all fun finding secrets. What does this do? Can we click this? Come on. Oh, no, it doesn't seem like we can click that, unfortunately. All right, let's go check out the reviews once again. Good, great food options. Great job. Well, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, the food options on this are quite good right now. Aside from that, we don't really got too many other stats that are too good. I mean, it only says 16 food, so I gotta assume these trains can get pretty impressive, as you can tell by the size of this bar. Uh, right now, we got a pretty basic train. Can you actually change? You can change these on the fly. That's actually really cool, but I do want to level up these ones. So each cart you level up as long as you use it. You can see the level at the top left, uh, and they're supposed to get progressively better and better. So I thought that was pretty cool. You also level up your employees. We still don't know who this is. Oh, it looks like it's an accountant. Uh, yeah, so we have two types of accountants here. Uh, and I guess we're going to figure out what that one is later on in the games. How much money do we have? We have 745. I'm feeling like doing a little bit of gambling. This is a really long trip from Detroit to Columbus. So let's do one more. Oh, I can buy a caboose, though. Tempting, but I think I'll save for that later on. We still got to unlock these other two carts. Come on, we got the other rare one. Good. What the heck is this thing? Because I'm curious. The Modern Outhouse. Beautiful. So this is quite literally just a bathroom. We got 16. I'm assuming that's 16 bathrooms. I, I don't know. It's a, it's a stat of 16. Uh, I think that is amazing. So I might use that later on. I actually haven't even thought about bathrooms yet. I feel like that would be a good cart for later on when we got many more passengers, though. Oh, no, not this movie again. Wait, you're, you're watching movies now? All right. I'm sorry if it's a bad one. I've traveled enough to know that most movies on airplanes and trains are absolutely awful. Looks like we just hit Columbus, and we should be stopping any time now. Now, in terms of upgrades, what do we want to do? Well, let's get paid first, and let's check out the market first, because I'm curious. Oh, there's a bird there. We've been asked to transport some auto parts up to Detroit. I was just there. Why are you doing this to, this to me, game? All right, so we got to go on another big run, but that's okay. We'll hit up Detroit once again. If we keep up this pace, we'll be able to travel to the USA South in no time. All right, well, that's good. Can I click this bird? I really want to click this bird. Doesn't look like it. What does that golden ticket mean? Oh, I popped it. Okay, well, I don't know what it means, though. Resource demand is toilet paper. Well, someone's in a shitty situation. That's what I think about that. All right, so I'm honestly feeling like the cafe car, although it's good... It's kind of annoying having to click this every 30 gold, so I might change that for something else. Yes, first world problems. I have to click too much to earn money in this game. All right, we also got a reward for North America. Now make a stop at Detroit, so we will set up that in a second. We also got the third rock from the sun, so it looks like... Uh, don't click on me. I don't even know what I did to do that one. Uh, and tailspin I did earlier on. So, oh! I didn't realize we get money for uh, doing these screenshots as well. So we did get the White House. As you can see, look at all these locations we can go to. Looks like we can go into Canada. Whoa, this is global? I thought it was just going to be the United States. No, this is indeed global, it's looking like. So that is really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see how in-depth this game goes. All right, so we got... $1,200 right now. I'm going to do a few upgrades here. Let's up the cap of uh, passengers and cargo. I also, yeah, you know what? Doing some more cars would be smart as well. So let's do, oh, requires gumball rank three. So there is a lock on that, uh, but you definitely want to get the max cars, I'm assuming, very, very quickly. Uh, you know what? We'll just go down the list here and do a couple of them 
How much do we have? All right, we're going to do one more speed as well. And time to gumball for that final cart. All right, what do we got this time? We got the freight car. So if we do want to, you know, transfer only freight, that's another option. And we might do that later on. All right, the only other money earner is my Old West food car. Now that, it looks like you can hold 77, but you can actually hold 21. I'm assuming if you upgrade the car, the max you can hold is 77. Now, as you can see with mine, I can hold 30 to 108. So... Really, the cafe car is my best option right now. I don't need more passengers. So the only other thing I would need is an outhouse. I don't feel like that's worth it right now. So I'm going to keep the cafe car as annoying as it is. Now let's go back to the map. We're going to set that waypoint. And you can buy stations as well, which sounds interesting. Uh, do we actually see the market of all these places? Yes, we do. So if we wanted to do merchanting, we actually get a visual to see where we need to go to make some serious amounts of money. That's pretty cool. Later on, we'll do uh, some sort of merchanting. Right now, though, let's hit the road once again and complete this quest. Seems like most people are happy right now, so I'm doing good. I think. I hope. Oh! Oh! What? Okay. You know what? I'm totally okay with this. So, can we do that multiple times? Oh my god, we can. That is cool. So, clicking is always a good idea. Because we just, like, super boosted, and it does go much faster, as you can see. Alright, what, what happens if I just keep clicking it? Are we gonna go supersonic or something? No, it just actually does stop it. Uh, but yeah, it definitely, it increases my kilometers an hour to 92. I think my stable amount is, like, 70? Yeah, 74. So it does increase it quite a bit. All right, we're stopping. Whoa, oh, there's a log in the way. All right, we're gonna break that log and get some free loot. I like that mechanic, because then we, we don't even need to, you know, merchant to actually earn a decent amount of money. Let's actually turn that on, though. Prevents obstacle encounters. That way, we don't need to do that. It's going to be automated, and automation is great. Secret found, impatient. Oh my god, I'm just clicking things. I, I clicked the train to see if I could, like, see Maybe the route? I think you can see it on the map, though. And I got another secret done. So, yeah, we are halfway in between the two points, slowly making our way to Detroit. All right, let's see how much money we got for these secrets. So, it seems like every secret is 50. Now, I'm doing pretty good for secrets, though. We already got 5 out of 19 in-game. really wish there was a few more than that because this is really fun. Ah, uh, the stats as well. Look at all the stats. I love how my light turns on at night, too. Now, what happens if we click the moon? Can't do anything with the moon, only the sun, it seems like. I re it makes me really want to watch to find all the secrets, though, because there's things that fly by every now and then and stuff like that. All right, I swear to God, if you make me go back to do this quest again, because if you look at the map, there's not much places to go from Detroit. I hope we go to Toledo, though, and hit this other trail, because I don't want to go back down to Columbus. I've seen Columbus enough, damn it. All right, but here we are. Auto parts delivered, good stuff. Now on to the next stop. Uh-oh. That's not good. What is it? Hate to say it, but train controls aren't responding. What do we do? Why are you asking me? I, I've had this job for a day. Maybe two days now. I don't even know, but... Uh, did somebody call? Oh! Sophia! Sophia saves the day! Have no fear, Sophia is here. Thank goodness that is such a relief, but how could you possibly know we needed help? My mechanic sense was tingling, chica. <laughs> okay, that's a little much. Give me a minute to see what's wrong here. Ah, there's your problem. Let me just this and tighten this bolt. Bam! Train is fixed. All right, so we are going to have to deal with breakdowns now. Hey, no problem. Not a train built that I can't fix. Gotta say, this is a nice vehicle you got here. Well, thank you. I got it out of a gumball machine, if you'll believe it. Uh, you know what? I think we should work together. I think we should too, Sophia. All you need to do is turn my service on and I'll boost the train's top speed by 20%. Damn, Sophia. All right, I didn't expect that. I thought we'd have to do some repairs or something. Think of all the extra passengers you could pick up. If you've got the gold, give it a try. Okay, so I think, you know what? I don't need all these services because I, I I feel like these services are, are useful if you are automating the game, you know, kind of a cookie clicker like. But I'm watching the screen. So for example, the obstacles, 20 gold every hour. I don't feel like that's useful. I do like the idea of that, though. Let's get the old train of moving. And market refresh. I'm not really merchanting, so I don't think I need that as well. Because every time we go to the market, there's some stuff anyway. So it looks like... So there's no good prices here, so we're just going to keep our stuff. We do have a profit uh, quite a bit for the onions, so I think I'll sell those. 239 I just sold all by mistake. 
Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm not about the merchanting anyways. I'm about the passengers. But we did earn quite a bit of money there. 785 bucks right now. Uh, I don't think... That's enough to buy the caboose, but I'm going to save for the engine as well. I think we're just not going to buy anything right now. And uh, wait for it. But now that we made it here, guys, I think this is a good time to end this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Tiny Rails. Let me know if you guys are liking this, because it's kind of a weird game. It's a very basic game, but very fun as well. So as always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.